Well, we bought a Fiat de Castle the other week. Um, you might have seen the video where we went up to Doncaster to buy it. Well, we went away last weekend and um, we did some, you know, a night camping in it, uh, just to see what it was like, find out faults, and you know, just to get used to it really. Well, the recording I made was affected by the wind so badly. The microphone I was using was a monkey microphone from Amazon and it was absolutely rubbish. So I've had to redo this bit again. Anyway, I'm gonna take you on a tour around the Ducato and I think it's possibly almost perfect in the layout. It suits us anyway and it's really what we want. Have a look at the video and see what you think and um, you might agree with me, it's not a bad layout at all. It can be improved, I know, but it's not bad. We're Mark and V, and this is our adventures. So let's take a walk around the van and have a look. The first thing we can see is between the front passenger door and the sliding door there's quite a space there with two vents. That's actually where inside the fridge is located, which is quite a good place I think. The van does sit quite low, which is quite concerning. And as you come in, if you look there, you can see the handle, that's for the waist. Having a sliding door, it's a nice wide opening. And if you look on the bodywork, you can see clips for the awning. And if we come in a bit closer, you can see the clip that the legs attached to. So you don't have to put the awning down to the actual ground. And there is also an electric step, and that's always nice. All the windows are double glazed units, and I think that's something that I probably would use on a future van build. Although I don't like the fact that the windows are clear. You can see right into the van. I think I'd probably consider tinting the windows with film or something, but I don't know how easy that's gonna be because of the shape of the windows. But it's something we'll probably have a go at and try. As we walk around, this one's got a tow bar on it, which is going to be handy. As we look at the back, you can see the two rails on the rear door. This is where a bike rack should be. It didn't come with a van, but I think we're probably looking to get one back on the van. And as we come round to the driver's side, you can see this vent. That is for the heater and the water boiler. And we have another air vent there. Then we have the connection point for the electric hookup. Then below at the back we have the cassette toilet. And the cassette toilet is an absolute godsend on any van. Only for number one though. Unless, of course, we get absolutely desperate. And this is the fresh water fill up point. You can see an aerial on top for the TV. There's no solar currently, but we will definitely be looking at putting solar on and probably use a Victron unit like we used on Susie, our auto sleeper. And as we come around the front of the van, you can see the front bumper has been color coded. And in the windscreen, you can see that bar going across the lower part of the windscreen. Well, that's actually a pull-up blind, which is a really great idea. And on the sides, on the doors, there are uh, clip-on blinds. And it seems to work quite well, actually. That's really a quick overview of the van on the outside. I don't think I've missed anything, but if I have, please ask below in the questions. 
So we will look in the back of the van now. So I'll just open the back doors. If I open up the back door, as you can see, here is the water here. Um, hot air blower. And then underneath we have the storage area. I don't know if you can really see. But my hand is, we put the shelf in, we made the shelf last week. I'm putting it because it was one big space. And by having a shelf across, we can put all the smaller items in below. Let's just fill them off there. It's good, isn't it? Push one back in. So we can put like the hookup carpet. And we left a piece out of the corner there. So we can put our chocks in. And this bed, actually, it lifts. So you can take things out from underneath. So also it goes in from the back. If we, you know, it's a fixed bed, which is nice, isn't it, V? Having a fixed bed? Definitely, she says. It's nothing worse than a fixed bed. Yeah, that's something we've, um, we had a fixed bed in the crafter. Then we went to the caddy. Then we went to the auto sleeper, which we had to make the bed up in. And then we've come to this one. And by having a fixed bed, it just means at the end of the day, when you want to get into bed, that's all you've got to do. Much nicer. So we'll come round now and we'll go into the van. Now the van, side door, has got a catch on it. And I missed it completely this time. Somewhere along, there it is. So the door, it's not doing it so well now. I don't know if you can see that. It just catches at that point there. There it is. So you can, the door sort of stays half open. Now there's a lot of people who fit pieces on the sliding doors. I go here. You'll see a little like wedge type idea. I've had one in me crafted before. But, um, the mechanism they're using on this Ducato is really good. I'm, I'm quite impressed with that. So we'll come into the van. Although it's a sliding door, it is quite easy to use. So we come to the back of the van and we have our electronics here. So we can see that's our battery. So our star batteries really good at the moment. Our leisure batteries down to half power. So that's uh, because we've been charging our laptop on it. We no solar, obviously it runs it down. That's our waste. Obviously there's no, nothing in the waste at the moment. And water, we're down to three quarters. Then we have the water heater and the water pump. We come round. Over here, we have, I'll bring you in a bit closer. That is the heater and water heater. If we turn it up, it's the water heater. Turn it down, it's heater and water heater. And I believe, now, I'm not sure on this one here, but I think that's water heater when we're on hookup. We'll find out. All the cupboards, they lift up and they're on little catches. And if you look just inside there, you'll see that's where the RCD unit is located on this one on the Adria. So we come round. Now we, I've changed the lights in the back of the van these USB ones are touch sensitive, they're really good. So I'll do that, and if I touch it again, it goes off, I touch it, it comes on. I think that's quite neat. And you can see how, how they've worked the bed in, in this van. It actually goes into the bodywork, and that's how they get the extra length for the bed going across the van. I think it's quite nice. We've got more cupboards back here. You can see. We'll take a cupboard there. 
So there's plenty of storage in the back. As we come through, bring you down a bit to have a look at here. So we have a sink, running water, two hob stove, a two hob stove. That seems to be perfectly adequate. I mean, you're in a camper van, you're not at home, so I don't know how much you'd want. Below that we have some storage. I'm just gonna come down a bit lower. That's the storage, obviously. We have your knife and forks drawer. More storage below. Food and bits and pieces in that. Another storage there where we got cookery bits and pieces. So it's plenty. Then you see lots and lots of storage. And come to the end of the unit. And there's this nice fold up flap as well. So it increases your workspace when you're cooking or making something or like whatever. There's plenty of 12 volt. There's one there. There's one there. And there's some around the van in other places, like over there in a the corner. We come into the bathroom. We've got quite a large bathroom. Cassette toilet, as I was saying earlier. And you've got a sink unit. And this is a doubles up as a shower, so you can pull that one up and have them as a shower as well. And it will go out the window. So you could have, in the summer, you could have a shower outside in the window. And coming up around, you've got this built-in unit. Um, and it's got this timbre door, just to close off if you need to. So we move forward through the van. Now you can see V's working. I won't show you what she's working on because I don't think that's too good. But the van, if I can just come back in there, you can see both seats turn and they turn really, really quite easily actually. If I just pull on there like that, you can see I could spin that around with not much effort. Now the van's had a little bit of um, history and it's not been loved sometimes. As you can see, some bits of the dash have been screwed into. So we've got to look in how we're going to sort that out. And this is the blind I was telling you about. If I can uh, do this one handed, I don't know if I can. What I might do is put the camera behind me. And I'm just going to ask V, can she, can, Looking at the screen, can you see what I'm doing there? Can. You can. So basically, this is the screen. It pulls up. You have a blinds down. And it just hooks up over with some visors. Quite simple. I'm making it look up really difficult. And there we are, that reflects the sun away and it also makes it easier. I'll just show where you hooked it over the visors again because the camera couldn't see up there. Okay, so I'm just going to take the camera around here. So hopefully you can see that's where I hooked over the camera. It hooked over the camera? That's where I hooked over the, the sun visor. So it just literally hooks over like that. It's quite simple. I'm going to put the camera behind me again. I'm just going to bring them down a little bit while well, I bring it down. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Literally, lift them up and then he just returns into it. It's, a, it's like a cassette unit that they've then mounted in the, in the dash. It's quite a good idea actually. And um, 
think you could probably do it on a lot of different vans. I've not seen it before. Um, however, when we turn to look at the curtains on the side, this idea, now these unwrap, unclip, and they clip around the dash, the, they clip around the cab like that. They're not so brilliant, but they work. I don't know if I think it's the best idea. But I don't think we've had a van yet that everything's been perfect. And I think we'll probably, we've already been talking about building another van. There may be, in the, not immediately, but I think in a not too distant future, I think we're possibly gonna do a, another van build. And, uh, I think we're gonna use a lot of the ideas from this van to I think we're going to use a lot of the ideas from this van to pinch because I think it's got some of it quite right. Now, obviously there's two seats here. I've got seat belts, so that means you can have four people in here. And this this seat also converts to a child's bed as well, so you you could take a, a third person with you if you need to. If you're a three-person family, you know you could have three people in here quite easily. If you're going out for the day, you've got no worries because you'll be able to take two other people with you. So as we come down, we've got more storage here. A little cupboard up here. I believe this has been made since the van came out of the factory. Um, I'm not sure. But that one there. Then we've got this one here. And we've modified this ourselves because there was a hanger in here and it didn't really work that well. So we've made a shelf, you can see there. And I think that makes it easier for clothes to go in there. And then if we come down lower, you can see we've got a fridge. It's a freeway fridge, standard freeway fridge like a lot of vans have. And you can see there, plenty of room for your alcohol, your food, and some veggie mite. I do love Vegemite. And if we come down a little bit lower, I'm just going to open this cupboard here. And that's where your batteries are. So hopefully you can see in there. Um, I think I'm going to modify it in there slightly. Um, see if we can get a second battery in there. I don't know, but hopefully we can. What else can I tell you about this van? I'm looking round now. Looking round, obviously there's vents in the roofs, up there, you've got one vent there, another vent here, and you've got all the storage at the front as well. So all in all, it's quite, you know, it's quite well thought out. And obviously the double glazed windows as well, we'll look at the double glazed windows. They have, like, if I bring that one up, you have obviously the insect screen. Hopefully you can see that as I pull them up. Or you have the normal blind. Now they haven't been looked after very well in this van and I'm gonna have to pull one apart in the not too distant futures and repair it. So <laughs> there might be a little video on how to repair one once I've learned how to do it myself. We'll be doing that in a not too distant future, possibly this week. If not, it'll be after we come back from holiday because uh, we're off to Bali in a few days for um, a bit of a change of scenery. And we'll be taking you along with us. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that little look around the van. Um, got any questions, ask us. We're still learning about it ourselves. Um, like I said, it pretty much does everything we want it to. But there's a few things I think could be better. I don't think I've found the perfect van yet. And 
So if you've enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. And um, if you like what I'm doing, you know, like what we're doing, you know, why not subscribe to the channel? And especially if you want to come to uh, Bali with us and see some of the sights and scenes. We've booked some amazing places out there. Uh, it, it, I can't believe how amazing it, it looks at the moment. It's sad for the people, but we're going to go and spend some money with them. And hopefully um, we'll have quite an exciting journey. Anyway, to the next video, guys. We'll see you soon. See you later. Bye.